the king needs vegan food prepared by a resident chef. The monarch adheres to the diet on one day per week when, for environmental reasons, he does not consume dairy, meat, or fish. To guarantee he partakes in the most delicious food conceivable, a chief top assistant chef is being promoted for at Buckingham Royal Residence to help the head cook. The monarch, staff, and guests at grand state banquets attended by the monarch will enjoy the food of the successful candidate. The job posting reads, this position is truly unique. In the royal kitchens, you will assist in leading a group of skilled professionals as premier sous chef. You will support the head chef and oversee day-to-day -day operations, making sure that every meal, whether it's for staff lunches or a grand state banquet, meets the highest standards. This position offers unparalleled scope and variety, joining a team of 30 and working from six distinct residences. In addition to assisting in the management of stock levels and coordinating staff rotas, you will develop and prepare a variety of menus and locate the finest seasonal ingredients. You'll inspire and motivate those around you while also recruiting and training new members and keeping an eye on the performance and growth of a highly skilled team. To organize the kitchen, the new employee will need people management skills, in addition to impressive knife skills and plant-based knowledge. The posting proceeds. You are a highly skilled and qualified chef with senior level experience from a five-star catering or fine dining establishment. With great information on traditional cooking and of the food business as a rule, you're skilled at arranging and creating menus for a large number of events, including high-end food and volume catering. You are accustomed to empowering and motivating a large workforce and possess excellent people management skills. Because you and your team will be delivering for a wide range of events at multiple locations, it is essential that you are able to effectively plan, organize, and delegate. The king chooses vegetarian fare two days a week, in addition to going vegan one day a week. The king stated in an interview with the BBC in 2021. The matter of what we eat is, obviously, significant. I haven't eaten fish or meat two days a week in years. Additionally, I do not consume dairy products one day per week. You would significantly lessen environmental pressure if more people did that. Julian Payne, Charles's former press secretary, previously stated that his former boss never takes a break for lunch and eats fruit and seeds for breakfast. In spite of tales the ruler is served a line of eggs to look over each day, Mr. Payne said. In the 10 years I worked there, I never saw a single boiled egg served for breakfast. The king never takes lunch, so, one of the first things I learned while we were traveling together was to eat a big breakfast or bring some snack bars with you to keep you going. The workday seems to go on forever. Beginning with the headlines of the radio news and a breakfast of seeds and seasonal fruit salad with tea.